good day to you, steam it. It's Episcopo Squirrel here, also known as Alchemage. Here to do another dab with a mage. How are y'all today? Hope you're doing well. It's another beautiful day here in the Pacific Northwest. It's nice and cool. I got the day off, so I have some time to relax and take a dab with you guys. So, this morning, or this afternoon, I'm going to talk to y'all about money. But first, as always, cheers. So, money. It's everywhere right now. It's, it's everything. <laughs> everything is currently looked at with some sort of monetary value by the general populace. And it's kind of weird, but it is what it is. And, uh... For the longest time, when I was going through my, my awakening, um, and I was begun, beginning to recognize uh, myself and my environment and what was going on with the government and what was going on with pharmaceutical companies and um, big business, I... Uh, I'm really stoned, excuse me. My buddy just came over and smoked a huge spliff with me. And, uh, anywho, when I was going through this moment, uh, these moments, um, I looked at money as this really toxic thing. And I stopped using money as much as I could. And it's really affected me in a lot of ways. Uh, mainly, it took money really out of the equation. Uh, I moved to bartering as much as possible because I saw money as this idea that took away a major part of experience of life. Because if you're bartering, you know, you have to have what that other individual requires. But if you don't, and we have money, you can just pay for it. But if you're bartering, you then have to find someone who has what that individual needs and wants what you have. Or you have to trade around to get to that thing in order to get what you actually need. And so, to me, the purpose of life is experience. I think that consciousness is the prevailing energy of life and its whole purpose is to experience itself and any meaning derived from that is at a subjective level. So by putting money into the equation you now have people working for this one idea so that they can exchange it for universal goods. It's a universal idea for any good. And I saw that as detrimental to the experience of life. So I cut it out of my life as much as possible. And just the idea of looking at money as being toxic caused me to have a blockage in my life with money and it took me a long time to be able to get a good
good flow with currency. With paper currency, fiat currency, fiat currency. And it wasn't until the past few years that I began to recognize that, as I said before, we do exist in this time where money is the prevailing exchange of energy. And so I recognized all things at this point as being energy and exchanges between people of being either equal or imbalanced exchanges of energy. And so I looked at currency as paper currency as being a form of energy exchange. I began calling them karma coins because you're literally putting your karma towards this this coin, this this currency. And to me that's so <laughs> what I mean by that is karma is to me cause and effect and this is through a time, uh, a, a linear time that we experience, cause and effect. So, by spending your time at a job, you are putting your karma, you're putting your cause and effect for this token. And by aligning yourself with the proper channels of energy with what you are trying to affect at an objective level rather than just being um, focused on the self, focusing on the individual rather than recognizing the effect from your cause by working at places that align with yourself. You can then have this exchange, this this energy exchange, be in your favor by also going and aligning your purchases with companies that align with your beliefs. And so, you know, I'm not saying that there is any specific right way or wrong way to do this. I'm just saying that there is cause and there is effect and the individual is what creates the, the right and the wrong all experience is valid, all experience is equal and so you know I can't I can't sit here and tell you to use your karma coins to go and uh, shop at local businesses because that's the right thing to do that's what I do. I, I purchase uh, local goods as much as I can and support local business as much as possible. But that's because I believe that's the right thing to do. So, yeah. Karma coins. Use them wisely according to your personal knowledge and wisdom. I'm gonna put some uh, CBD oil on this. It's like my last step, so I gotta go get some oil here after this. Uh, and pick up some beer. Uh, you guys uh, haven't tried this. Vanilla oatmeal stout. And then Kasi. It's really good. Have a great day.